Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple long calculation system using PHP and jQuery. Let us show the demo first. Here, first I am going to enter the employee name. I am going to enter the employee name as John. Pay item I am going to enter as loan. Loan amount here I am going to enter as 5 lakhs. Duration I am going to here give as 6 month duration. Interest rate I am going to include 10 percentage here. Now here it is automatically calculate and display the uh, total amount. Right. So this is the amount you have to pay. Right. Interest rate 10 percentage interest rate. Right. Uh, duration 6 month duration. Right. Now here uh, loan start date and uh, start date and end date should be there here now here i am going to start date should be today date i am going to give if you give the today date it's automatically calculate and display the six month here six month here now here date should be 2000, uh, 2019 uh, nine month uh, here 26 this is the date here the six month calculation here uh, 2020 third month of 26 right it's calculated successfully right this kind of simple system how to do step by step i'll be teaching today right uh, let's back to our project i installed php storm to write the code editor uh, you can write the code in php code uh, any editor right so here first what i'm going to do is here go to the file new project here i'm going to uh, give the project name as lawn calculation right Cal right okay click ok now your new project is created successfully with the name here this is the project folder select the project folder right click new file here i am going to create the new file as index.php this is the page i am going to create first right now this is the empty page here i'm going to write the code first i'm going to open the html tag if you open the html tag you must close it after that after that add tag after that body tag this is the structure of the htm right html add tag body tag right now here inside the add tag i'm going to uh, style the stuff right style i have to import the bootstrap styles so let's back to our browser go to the google and type bootstrap if you type bootstrap this is the first website getbootstrap.com click and visit right here i just click get start button here there will be the two files uh, css and js right is both are uh, we need this both so here just copy this click this button to copy this style CS style and back to my project and right click and paste right perfect after that second one should be the js so let's back to our project so here this one here this js there will be the option copy click on this one and back to our uh, project right click and paste it perfect right perfect right. now here let's see file save all now what I am going to do is here after that I am going to design the page. So here first what I am going to do is here first I am going to write the div tag div class column 12 right this is size of that right. after that we have to write another div inside this div I am going to write another div this time this style should class card right card now I import the card. After that, we have to write here is a div class card body card body. Right, this stuff we have to write. Okay, perfect. Right. Okay, if you start the div, you must close it. Right. Be careful when you are doing. If you start that uh, div, you, uh, div, you must close it. Right. After that, what I am going to do is here. We have to write the form tag. Form 
ID you have to write simply give the name as foam long this is the long alright inside the foam we have to design the foam foam first we have to give the heading h3 tag simple on calculation right after that we have to write the another div div class we have to write row so right here is first row this one we have to write here is first one we have to write the first row we have to write here div class form group form group column small column small we have to write 4 right column small right first I am going to input type input type text here we have to write as a class form controller control id emp name name emp name emp name right perfect now here uh, what i'm going to do is here we have to write a label label we have to write here is a employee employee here I'm going to write as a simple style code simply you have to write like this so to start the code and go back here you have to write simply asterisk it's nice right if you write like this it is nice right now let's save all and check the out long right go to the local host I have installed the exam server. If you are not installed the exam server, you must install it. What's the project name? Lawn Cal CC. Here is perfect. Here this is perfect. Right? Here this one should be the uh, this code. This tag. Right? It's perfect. Design. Right? Now what I'm going to do is here. Here you have to enter the employee name. Here employee name. save or here it's perfect right now what i'm going to do is here we have to write another stuff sorry inside the row i'm going to type another one same thing control c to copy control v to paste below uh, this one we have to uh, this one should be the lawn lawn id control c to copy control c to paste right so here we have to write here this one is a pay here we have to write here the uh, second one should be there uh, here we have to write pay item right save and check it's working perfect right after that loan amount same deal control c to copy control v to paste Right. once you write this one you no need to write again by again once you wrote correctly you just check on the browser if it is worked successfully you just copy and paste it so you, you can easily finish the project right now here you have to third one should be the loan amount l amount i just put the name id l amount control c copy control v to paste here this one loan amount loan amount right perfect right now let's check it's perfect right this is one row right after that i'm going to write another row so second one so let's copy this row say control uh, all the things you have to copy control c to copy this first row finished after that i'm going to write the second row this one should be the second control v to paste right now here here, here. you have to save and check it's working perfectly not here it's working perfectly right you have to work like this right this is a efficient way to write the code look like this right after that what i'm going to do is here third one should be the duration you have to write here it's a duration duration you have to write 
duration right duration control c to copy control v to paste duration control c to copy control v to paste duration perfect after that you have to write as uh, after that uh, you have to interest rate after that you have to write interest rate you have to write interest rate you have to write here, here is a interest rate you have to write high rate this control c to copy control v to paste right after that you have after that you have to write here is a Lo uh, total loan amount this one total loan amount right this one should be here read only and here we have write value 0 0.00 0, 0. right now let's file save all and check it's working perfect here it's working perfectly after that what i'm going to do the same row this one control c to copy control v to paste below the third row this row right here what i am going to do is here simply uh, loan date start date and end date you have to write here so here this is input type you have to change it as a date you have to change this one as a date after that here we have to write the simply uh, here this one we have we didn't give the total amount right total t amount this one should be the t amount we didn't give right okay the id and this one should be must okay when you calculate the amount right so id should be must id and name right now here date this one should be the start date here we have to write as a start date start date and end date so you have to write here is a start and end date you have to write so you have to write start date start date date id should be start this one should be the start date control c to copy control v to paste here here we have to start it. You can see the copy. Uh, sorry, here we have to paste. Start it. Right. After that, the end date. This one should be the end date. End date. Something you have to write here is a end date. Alright. This control C to copy, control V to paste. Perfect. So here file save all. Right. After that, what I'm going to see here. Uh, this one we no needed we have to remove them third we, we no needed let's save and check whether it's working fine or not right it's working fine so here uh, here here also we didn't we have the same thing control c to copy the same date format we have to uh, sorry we have to change this one as a date one you have to change only date okay. other stuff are same right now let's save all and check it's working perfect now okay now it's working perfect right now we need one button so here we have right here is simply after this row div tag okay yeah, outside this uh, row div tag okay so we have right here is a uh, same thing here right form group this form group you have right can see the copy can read paste here here we have to uh, write here is a only one thing we have right here is a button so button type how to submit i just give the button id as save class btn btn success i just give the button like this success right that's it this one should be your right submit name should be submit right now let's save all and check right it's perfect this is simple form design right now we design the form successfully now let's write, write the code for that right so let's back to our project here we have write the code right. now here we have write the code for first we have write the script we have write the jquery script script if you start in the tag right okay First, we have to get the interest rate. That is a must of interest rate. Interest rate. Uh, this is the text box. Uh, this field, right? In uh, interest rate, right? Now here, instead of the text, we have to write this as a number. Right? Number is easy. Okay. Duration also we have to change it as a number. Right? It's working fine. If you write like this, it's work right. Loan, loan amount okay it's okay it's, it's keep the text right okay. right here if you change the text as number 
here it look like nice so refresh it see it look like like this right duration also here yeah. you can write like this this is a number right if it is a text it's normal right okay perfect now what i'm going to do is here first you have to get the uh interest rate so what is id i rate this is the id uh, right so you have to get that one right uh, after that amount this is the loan amount so l amount right so here this is the text uh, this is the fields names right this this uh, names are very important while you calculating the salary stuff so okay first i'm going to write here this uh, simply you have to write uh, first you have to get it uh, interest rate so you have to write first interest rate calculated so you have i rate dot change change function change change your function right function change function right so here we have right right this bracket we have to close it here you have to open bracket and close bracket right we have write the text like this right perfect here we have to write first you have to call the function cal long right okay we will write this function right so we will write the function later so here after that the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here also this one should be the amount so this amount what is the amount you are giving loan amount what is the loan amount you are giving so this this the id so control c to copy loan amount right so after that duration same thing you have to call the duration control c to copy control v to paste this one should be the duration so what is the id of the duration the duration control c to copy or paste the duration right that's it right simply if you, if you change something yes here it's automatic calculate and display here so we have to this is the function we have to write what does this function right first we have to write the function perfect right so we have write here is function function we have to write here is function cal loan this one control copy control to paste right. here start the function and close the function all right now here we have to write the code for that now here first we have to check the validation part so we have to write if first one you have to amount this uh, loan amount so we have to write here is if you have to write dollar sign uh, here we have to write here is here we have to write the double quotation mark here we have to write the this one lmo control c copy control v to paste right okay after that we have to write dot val that call the val function val equal if it is blank you have to write here this return false right. after that you have to write second one should be there same thing you have to control c copy control v to paste here this one should be the else else if. this one should be the duration so the same the duration control c copy the same thing duration right you have to check first this all the stuff right control c copy control v to paste is second third one should be and you have to write here is part interest rate so you have to interest rate this i rate this one control c copy control v to paste right after that we have to write else if it's all uh, you have to not blank if it's not blank all this uh, text boxes this all text is not blank we have to calculate the total uh, loan amount so how to do the task so here you have to write else part you have to write the code for that what you have to create the total amount create the very total amount you have to create the variable total amount we call zero we have to create the variable right after that what i am going to do is we have to get the variable control c copy control v paste here we have to write here is first we have to open the bracket close here so we have to write number you have to write number you have to write dollar sign here we have to write here is a first you have to amount dollar sign uh, here we have to write the amount 
this one this amount loan amount control c copy control v to c loan amount right loan amount dot you have to write here is a dot uh, loan amount dot val val function right loan amount dot val function right it's correct after that what i'm going to see here you have to multiply by multiply by interest rate loan amount you have to multiply what is the interest rate you are entering here right so we have to multiply here you have to here press the same thing you have to copy control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be interest rate second one should be the interest rate control c to copy control v to paste here right so here we have to uh, calculate the uh, here we have to write after that we have to write divide by 100 have to divide by 100 right that's the thing you have to write okay after that this bracket we have to close here this one to open the bracket here it is closed here right if you open bracket it's closed here after that what i'm going to uh, do is here after that you have to multiply by the same thing you have to the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here paste uh, control v to paste here so here we have to write here is uh, the thing is we have to write this one we no need it right third one should be here we have to write uh, this one duration uh, duration we have to write duration third one should be the duration control C copy we have to multiply it by the duration here uh, duration plus duration we have to write duration after that plus duration plus we have to write the same thing we have to write as a same this amount we have to calculate this amount we have to the same loan amount you have to write here right all the calculation we have to uh, what is the amount you are typing the all things are calculated and you have to include it is added the uh, amount right so you have to again you have to add this one loan amount right what add the loan amount here right that's the stuff we have to write okay after that what i'm going to do is here we have to write here is uh, we have to this all things are calculated and display into the total text box this total text box so we have to write like this here what's the total text box name we have to give here this one t amount okay so come to see copy this one so we have to write here is a we have display here so we have to write dollar sign right 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 t amount dot val val so right here pass this one dot two fixed two fixed two two fixed two mean the zero should be there right that's right we have to write two fixed two right. that's the thing we have to write this method does right that's the thing we have to do now let's check whether it's working fine or not Now let's check. Let's enter the sir. Employee John, pay item loan. Loan amount uh, we have to write as a 5 lakhs. Duration 6 months. Interest rate 10% uh, Here it's calculated successfully. Perfect. It's working. Perfect. Uh, another stuff I am going to teach is uh, uh, this one start and end date right it's very easy let's do the task let's back to our project now here first we have to write the uh, we have to change the start date it's automatically calculate the end date so we have to write the code for the start date fun uh, change function so we have to write here is a dollar sign we have to write here start date what's the name we have to give here date start date end date right you have to copy this one control c to copy paste it here start date dot change function that function right here right open and close back right perfect now here we have to write first what i'm going to see here first we have to check the duration duration is the must 
okay we have to divide the uh, uh, long like this duration like this right so here we have to write duration so we have to what is a duration name duration in this one control seed copy control seed paste here sorry paste here after that what i am going to do is here dot val dot val function that called the val fu val function not val of val function but equal equal this one after that open and close here return false after that we have right here is var we have to create a variable var a equal number we have right here is a dot duration duration and proceed to copy control read paste duration dot val after that we have to write for current date date equal new date so we have to write dollar sign we have to write the start date start date start date dot val After that, we have to write as a current this current date. Variable control C copy control V paste here. Uh, dot set month. Set month. After that, we have to current date again. Control C copy control V paste here. Dot get month. Get month. Plus we say. We have to write after that. We have to write here. After that, we have to write end date here. So we have the same thing. We have to copy this one. Have to copy this one. Control C copy. Control V to paste here. This one we have to write here is a uh, end date. End date. End date. Okay. After that, we have to write inside the val. We have to write here is a uh, this current date. Control C copy. Current date. Uh, dot. To ISO string dot split. We we'll write a split function. This split function we we'll write split function. We we'll write here is a T. Right here a T. We we'll write here is a simple here after that we we'll write a array type zero. That's the thing we have to write to be what. Right. This is the thing we have to write. Uh, now let's check whether it's working fine or not. See all. Let's back to a code. Now we have to again type John. We type Lon. Amount. We have to write five lakhs. Here we have to duration six month. Interest rate ten percentage. Now here we have starting date. This date. Here ending date. It should be six month. Should be calculated successfully. Right? It's working perfectly uh, with this code. Uh, i hope you guys you understood the things well uh, if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching